I am KB with Nerdophiles. How are you both? Hey, we're good. Nice to meet you. I am doing well. Thank you. Okay, so I would love to start with you, Myra. So Quinn is so kind-hearted and finally really finds her voice within her little friend group and even uh, a bit of romance by the end of the movie. So what does the bet amongst the group kind of teach Quinn about herself and how does it empower her in her own life? Oh, that's a really good question. I mean, I think at the end of the day, it's always important to stay true to yourself. I mean, I speak for myself and Quinn, it's to stay true, true to yourself and stick with your morals and believe what is right and what is true. And I feel like Quinn and myself included, we're good people. We're very good people, I think. <laughs> we're good people and we'll always be very supportive to a friend, but I think also being honest and truthful is also extremely important. So I'm very happy that Quinn was always supportive and there for Paget, even though all that was going on. So yeah, it's important to stay true to yourself. Yeah, because yes, and because it was wild. So uh, you know, for you, Peyton Jordan, whoo, Jordan goes on a journey. <laughs> yes, he does. But Jordan, Jordan is truly, Jordan is truly himself at all times, though. Like you kind of can't be bad because like what you see is what you get, and he might be one of the most transparent people. Um, but as we see in the film, you know, there's a lot of talk about how most of these students are really just kind of navigating and masking some insecurities that they have. Uh, and so what do you think kind of lies below the surface of Jordan? You know, kind of what do you feel like he's hiding? Yeah, you know, and that was something to figure out when I when I first read him. Um, and luckily, I live in LA and uh, I go out a lot and, and see a lot of the TikTokers and, and get to know like what's deeper. Because um, obviously, you see what they put out on the surface, and you think you know who they are, and then you get to know them and they're totally different people. So reading it was something that I had to learn was what's beneath this guy. And I didn't really figure it out until about halfway through the film. Um, that he just had so much to put forward and he just cared about how he was perceived instead of who he actually is or what's going on. Because the main thing that he figured out was that perception is everything. And the moment that he caught some steam with his new single and with his, with his whole new social media thing was that he can get away with anything he wants as long as people can just see what he wants them to see. That's so true. So, so true. Well, it looked like that you guys had a great, great time filming this movie, uh, particularly that very large dance sequence at the end. <laughs> so um, I cannot wait uh, for everyone else to see it. And thank you so much for chatting with Nerdophile. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Yes, have a great day.